locals in this part of the river call this the Widowmaker stretch. I've never done this successfully. Oh, 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 I'm pinned, I'm pinned. Oh, he's good. Folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel, guys. Today we're going to be doing a gas station spillway fishing challenge. We had to drive all the way up north because, as you guys know, in North Florida, there's no spillways where I live. So we had to drive all the way up here to meet a special friend. Here he is. What's up? AO fishing, and we also towed the boat behind us here. So we have the whole entire rig, and we also brought dangling with them as well. In today's gas station fishing challenge, we're going to be doing basically a 1v1v1, one one one, okay. but we're also going to be working together as a team on the spillway because this is me and Devin's first time fishing here, right? Yep. We're fishing, fishing the Chattahoochee. Yeah. Way down yonder. Yeah. Way down yonder. So we're fishing public waters today at a river, which is different than me just fishing stock ponds all the time, so this might be tough. And there's going to be species <laughs> in this river that you guys have never even seen, I'm telling you. Yeah, so we have potential like brand new species today, which I'm pumped about. And we have this amazing gas station behind us that has like live bait and a ton of things. It's literally the biggest outdoor section I've ever seen in a gas station in my life. And it's really the only outdoor section we have in my town. So works good. <laughs> now these guys have never been to this gas station. And before you even get inside, we have live bait everywhere. Minnows, big golden shiners. Guys, yeah, the only gas station like within an hour of me, the only live bait they got is crickets. We've even been in there before and bought the crickets and the worms. But it's crazy, like out here in Alabama, they just got shiners and tanks out in front of the gas station. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And yeah. it's kind of like an honor system. I mean, have I snuck in here late at night? Maybe. I mean, they're just kind of out here. There's, <laughs> they got live bait out front. There's not even tackle shops at my place that yeah, have live bait. It's so. crazy. It's cool. You can literally get a tank of gas, fill up five gallon bucket of shiners, and you're freaking good to go. There's tons of shiners in here, guys. If you want to see like a live bait gas station fishing challenge today, I think we're going to stick strictly with like gas station food and whatever lures are inside. Okay. If you guys want to see like a gas station live bait challenge where we come by all the shiners and go fishing with them, all how right. many likes do you have? 7,894. If you guys hit that, we'll come back to this exact gas station. And you got an abandoned pond too, right? Oh, dude, I have the perfect place to take these things. That what? would be amazing. All right, you guys know what to do. Like the video. Guns. The only <laughs> sign on the whole store besides Chambly's. That's how I know we're, this, we're in Alabama. You took me to the right we're gas station. Alabama. We're in Alabama. Oh, what in the world? Yo, this is like, told me it was like this, dude. Dude, I was telling you, bro. She's thick. Bro, it goes all the way back that way. Yeah. This is ridiculous. I was thinking a wall this size of just like beetle spins. And that yeah. was like what I thought. They got rods on the roof, dude. Yeah. I don't even got rods on the roof in my house. So guys, there's lures galore. There's bows on top. I have never been hunting before as AO said. Tons of clothes. From the outside, it looks like this place is like one tenth the size of it. You walk in and it's like, dang, it's like an open floor concept in here. This is nice. Have y'all ever had a frosty strawberry soda since 1939? Let's stop talking about the drinks and food because you guys are here for the fishing lures and I'm sure we'll find fishing lures that we didn't know existed in this store too. So I'm pumped for that. So boys, here's the plan. I'm just making this up as I go. $20 each, $20 for me, $20 for you, $20 for you. Actually, I'll give you $21 for you. <laughs> All right. A minute each to spend our $20 budget. Who wants to go first? Oh, he, 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 he rose his hand first. Yep. All right, Ayo, you're up, man. So we got a stopwatch. You got a minute. Okay. Spend the $20. You don't spend it. All right. Too bad. So sad you won't have any fishing lures. So you got a plan? Yes. Tackle's not including in this. We got tackle in the boat. Just throwing that yeah, out. Yeah, terminal there. tackle. Okay. Yeah, 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 so yeah. just the, your lures. Right, right. Just right. lures. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Oh, gosh. Okay. 359. We got a little black and blue curl. I like that color. Get a little green pumpkin. Maybe even a little silver shad imitator. I don't know if I should go with a micro lure. Yeah, I would. We're, we're going for biggest fish, I want to say. Then we also have some topwater lures right here. <sighs> Head been around since 1917. I want to get a Chambly style lure just so I can have it in the boat. What do I want? What do I want? <sighs> that kind of looks in what the heck? <laughs> there we go. Oh, what is that color, dude? You see the little googly eyes? That's it's almost there? like like a banana peel. That's, yes. that's what I call that. Low key, super cute. Man. This is gonna be my secret sauce. I hope nobody sees this really good right now. I got the Zade blocking them. Black and blue, little crawl. Homemade banana peel swim bait. You ready, dangling? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was the dark colors. Too. 
Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You're screwing my time up. I'm gonna get the black chart six inch lizard. So he said black and blue, dark color. You also said they're aggressive fish. So Why they're gonna react. Are you explaining as the time's rolling okay, right now? Fine. Yeah, I would hurry. Can I mean, move? if you only want one lure. <laughs> I want all the good oh, lures. Oh, Excuse oh, me. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm a big BFS guy. So I'm probably gonna get a baby swim shad. You said top water. You got a top water? I'm gonna get a, a dark whopper plopper. That's basically 15, 11. Oh, yeah, I have 21. So that's my whole budget. So I got a whopper plopper, a jig, some BFS. And uh, that's my secret sauce. He said he has secret sauce. That's my secret sauce. And that was perfect on a minute too. Dude, I wish I would have seen these, man. If you're trying to catch a big one. Well, Look at that jerk. Right? With that. Striper, man. There's potential for striper, maybe like spotted. So I, there's a ton of potential. So I got to yeah. think when I'm choosing these lures yeah. that I get the right things. Multi-species. Multi-species. So that's my strategy going into this. But you can start it whenever. I think I'm ready to go. All right, three, two, go. All right, first thing I'm going to go with, you said darker colors work best? This is a straight black color. It's just a, it's no, nothing but black. So it's dark. I'm going to copy you with the cross, man. You were so confident with the cross. Oh, dang. Oh, no. He knows the sauce. <laughs> How much time I got here? 30 seconds. All right, all right. I'm gonna get a jig, match it up with that. Okay, so 459, 359, I don't know, quick maths. Oh, I need top water, I do. Get the Rebel, dog. That's it, boom. All in time, all right, guys, so we all have our, uh, our gas station lures. We're gonna check all these lures out and then uh, head to the river and actually do like my first ever river send in my boat. I'm super excited for that. Let's, uh, let's check these lures out. Oh, I gotta go grab my drink. We gotta get the drink too. Guys, we're out here at uh, the Chattahoochee. Is that where we're at right now? Hoochie. The Hoochie. I'm excited for my first river mission in the boat. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's beautiful out here too. Dry oh. start. You like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, <laughs> I like the cold start. Cold start on the uh, on the 2020 Merc 60 horsepower. Guys, we're already getting spillway. The three of us gotta somehow maneuver up this river. So we have Ao driving because he knows this river like the back of his hand. Yep. And we're just gonna hope we don't hit a rock because there's lots of rocks this is where the big fish hang out though you gotta be be willing to put your boat through it to get to where the big fish hang out the locals in this part of the river call this the widow maker stretch oh, oh because well, that, that was my right that was my prop it doesn't matter well to you it probably doesn't matter <laughs> a lot of people will come in here and just rip and there's like rocks that are huge and they'll rip your motor straight off so oh that's cool you gotta, cool. Uh, gotta zigzag through these rocks and try to live yeah, I'm glad this is a spot we chose to go fishing at. <laughs> we gotta go that way. And there's a lot more rocks, a lot more water. We got this. It's terrifying. This current ripping through, Ooh, man. And guys, the spillway. Oh, I see it, dude. That's nuts. Right there, dude. Literally, the chute is three foot wide. So the sides of the boat might scrape, but the motor will go between the rocks. I've never done this successfully. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're focused. Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. It's just a rock. No, we're losing our way. Dang it. Oh, that's another rock. We are on the rocks. Oh. So close, man. We're going to go back downstream and have to take one more shoot. Oh, we're about to hit a big rock. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Go ahead and take one for the team. Oh! <laughs> Do you need my help? No. You got this? I need you to plug my channel twice. All right, guys. AO fishing, AO fishing. Link down below. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> What's the water temp right now? I'd say about a, a, a cool 64. Nice. Nah, it's probably 72. This is kind of cool, though. We have like a, I think this is a 17 or 18 foot boat. It's nice that it's not like too big, or like a really nice, like $100,000 bass boat because. I wouldn't want to take that up here, but since we're in this, this is a perfect rig to be able to get up to the spillway. And it's it's spilling right now. Oh, hit the belly button. Woo, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing. We can <laughs> driving it on the outside of the boat. <laughs> Everybody brace yourself. <laughs> Dude, that was kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. That, yeah. that got my heart pounding. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to one of my favorite spillways of all time. It's like 20 foot tall at the most, maybe just like 15. But the thing is it runs all the way across the river. Most spillways are like, 50 yards wide. This one's like almost longer than a football field. It's massive. Not only is it massive, but there's tons of species of fish. There's shoal bass, which most people want to call a smallmouth. There's spotted bass, there's largemouth bass, and there's also 
like white bass, striper, hybrid, all these different types of species, catfish. It's one of the most multi-species just packed into a little stretch of river I've ever seen in my entire life. Every time you set the hook, you have no idea what's on the end of your line. It's like the most adrenaline packed place to catch fish and it's absolutely gorgeous. So guys, we got our gas station lures tied on and I'm actually, I'm feeling confident with what we got. I mean, hey, congrats to you, man. Props to you, whatever that correct word is for putting us on the gas station sauce, bro. That was yes, the best sir. gas station I've ever been to, but we got the jig. It's looking uh, really good. We're gonna hop around these rocks. Devin, you're, you're tying on your whopper plopper you got too. So we'll have yeah. something on the bottom, something on the top. Oh my gosh. Literally just watched like a one pound bass come up right there. And I think it was a shoal bass. It was like weird brownish color. It looks like a small mouth. Guys, it's gotta be one of the coolest places I've ever done a fishing challenge at. Look at that rock down there. Got one. Oh, you go. got one. Oh, yo, 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 go forward, go forward. Dude, it was, it was sure? freaking big, dude. I, sure? I know, I know 100%. Is he still on there? Dang it, dude. He was swimming against current. He went that way. I know 100, I threw it on this rock. Keep pressure. I don't feel him anymore, though. He got me wrapped up good. No. Dang it. No. You see anything? No, he's gone. Oh, dude. Dude, look, my freaking crawls are gone. My, yeah. my trailers, he bit them off. Oh, that was a good bite, too. I hooked him, and I caught the little tiny shoulder bass, so I was expecting it to just come up. And he went, and it was like going. Dang it, bro. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh. Get some better hook. Gosh. Top water only, dude. Yeah, that's it might be nice. going that way. Guys, I just lost the fish. Devin just had a top water boat. Had him on. That was the shoal bass, too, I think. That would have been your first ever shoal bass. Dang. We're getting bites, though. That's good. Really fast this way. So, a lot of times I put my big grip, like any beach, and I'll be caught up in the Eventually, you're making a little bit Oh! Oh! I'm pinned. I'm pinned. Oh, oh he's good! Oh! Just oh. oh. give me a waffle flopper, dog. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, God. You might can flip it. You got braid, yeah, got, dude. You got braid. Is that a big shoulder bass? Yes. Oh. Come on, Dev. Dev, keep them on, bro. Oh. Oh, oh come on. Yes. Let's go. Yes, dude. Oh. dude. Oh, that's a new PB. Let's Holy go. Holy smokes, Woo. bro. They want the top water, dude. dude. Ah. <laughs> that's going to put you in the lead. Did he crush it? Dude, so. Knocked it. Did it not look like a four pounder when it jumped? Yo, when he jumped, jumped it just I was ran. like, whoa. I was like, that man just broke the state record, dude. Oh, dude, that, that makes me so pumped. Just to have like a cool fishing spot and bring your buddies. Oh, dude, this is sick. Dude. He's sitting up in that, just feeding on shad is what he's doing. Can you chill, my guy? 203, locked 203. in. Let's go, Let's yes, go. sir. How good is that? Is that good? That's, That's like, like really good? Like a four, four or five pound lord. That's nuts, bro. Congrats, man. Thanks for biting, girl, new PB. Whoa. Bro, she was ready. But while it was running at me, I was like, it's not really fighting that hard. Bro, when it got right here and tried to go into the boat, I was like, oh. <laughs> These, they built different in Chattahoochee. Yeah. So that's 2.06 pounds of pure strain muscle, man. They ain't got an ounce of body fat on them. Like me. If it catches another fish, we're definitely leaving them. <laughs> Watch the boys leave me now. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. Long arm. Peace. So we are uh, winding down our time in the boat. And what I mean by that is not the day of fishing, but we're gonna take these boys into the water. No boat, just man. You got them? That might, that, be a, fish? that might be a rock. Dude, I, 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 I said your rod bent. I said Every just time I say something, but... he's like, I want attention. <laughs> 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 we're about to head up and literally be 10 yards from the spillway. It's gonna be intense. People will probably fall. Some may die, but there's gonna be big fish. All right, guys, we have found land. <laughs> Bad news is, you know, as a prepared boaterman, we do not have an anchor or a rope, and this thing's supposed to open up in like less than an hour. Yep. So um, if we don't get back to the boat in time, it'll go down and hit every rock 
in the Chattahoochee River. So we got to make sure this thing's like stuck when we get back quick. When we hear that horn, yeah, I can't I pull it. I, I don't think we're going to be able to. Will you hop out? You want me to help you guys pull it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got a 50-50 odd that we ever see my boat again. Yeah. So Yeah, it's all good. Dog. I like to gamble. All right, guys, this is cool. Our adventure now takes place on foot. I put it in my pocket because Dev has just been nailing them on that uh, topwater plopper. He's had tons of blowups and caught that uh that shoal bass that i'm just so jealous of but i got a top water in my pocket uh just in case but we're gonna start to walk all the way to the dam all the way over there and just uh wade through this the sand out here dude this is like some weird gravelly like sand yeah i don't even know how to explain this but this is what we're crawling our jigsters guys is this stuff and then it's right here on the edge of these rocks oh <laughs> oh this flat just looks amazing I just got a feeling randomly in the middle of this flat, there's gonna be a chunk just hanging out. I think I think one of us is gonna get on an absolute stud up here. Oh, I just got freaking flipped. Got one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I literally was like, I just got waiting on. Yeah, fish number three, blow up number like six. Top water's getting it done, baby. Oh, peace. I guess here goes the uh, the gas station popper. I got fluorocarbon on here too, so it might start sinking after a couple pops. But uh, it seems like they're on that the top water bite, and I think AO still got the jig on as well. So, oh man, if I get blown up top water by a shoal bass, a largemouth, a striper, I mean that would just be nuts. I like it when it tickles my tummy. This is such top water areas, shallow, sandy, it's so perfect. I just want that jig bite so bad. Oh, just gonna throw a bunch of grunts and motivational speeches in this mug for you, Zay. Oh. So much motivation. So much motivation. Oh, dude. My reel is so jacked. I'm so sorry, Norm. Here we are, boys. And girls, welcome to the waterfall. Ayo is like a mile ahead of the group right now. He is used to river wading. He grew up doing this type of stuff. And I, I gotta say, this is the first time for me. So I'm trying to catch up with him. But I think the closer we get to that spillway, the better that bite's gonna get, or the bigger the bites are gonna get. Yes! A little shoal bass on top water. That was great. Oh, jeez. He hit it once, missed it, came back for it, and grabbed it. These little guys are aggressive, man. What AO was saying is they fight way har harder than largemouth. Wow. It's so much fun just like at waiting and just stepping on rocks, not knowing when you're going to go under and fishing it in like cool scenic places like this. So much fun. Yeah, I got to get back in there because we only got 30 minutes, probably 25 by the time I'm talking now. So let's, uh, let's let her go. Woo! Let's get back in there. Oh, it's so deep. <laughs> oh. Why? Is that my big bait? Oh God. Oh God. I'm tight. Be good. Oh God, I'm falling. Be good. Could be the best of the day, boys. Hadn't seen it yet. Oh, he's playing me in the rock. Oh, God. It's a striper. Are you kidding me? I thought it was fighting a little too good. Come on, buddy. Woo. Good one. Let's go. Oh, God. 
just go. Little striper. I thought I had a huge shoal bass. These bite so much meaner. Oh, they're so cool, dude. My heart is pounding out of my chest. Oh, see you, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, boys, we just got retied up. I don't know how well you can hear me after Luke and AO decided to sabotage me. It's catching all the fish. So now I'm gonna sit down while they're way over there and see if I can't get on one. I'm pretty sure Norm and AO both just got on their first one of the day. I've also taken a couple very nasty spills in all this freaking water and my ankle is fricked right now. I just really wanna catch one sitting down. Oh, one just went absolutely crazy over there. Oh, I just got weight on. I just got weight on. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he popped off. Quick release. Oh, that was so sick, dude. Maybe we can just catch him sitting down out here. This is crazy. All right. Fish? No way. Oh my God. It's so tiny. Just catching the perfect fish to hook me in the face. That could be my PB smallest shoal bass I've ever seen in my life. Go and prosper. Please don't get me wrapped up in a rock. I think it's a good one, guys. He's swimming right at me, though. He doesn't know where I'm standing. Yes! 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 <laughs> yes, sir! That's a big shoaly right there, baby! Guys, heck yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh, don't do that. Don't do me dirty. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. All right, I don't got pliers, so don't ruin my life here ah oh, he blew up on it once guys I saw it and then he blew up on it again and I'm so glad we landed this fish look at this guys I don't think that beats Devin's two pounder but it's pretty doggone close that is a beautiful beautiful soul bass right there they look so cool they really do look more like a small mouth than a large mouth Wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna get a little Instagram picture, guys, and then let them free. Come on, got him. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, they are slurping it top water. Oh. Yo, my God, this thing is. Oh, quick release. Peace out, Girl Scout. Could be big. Oh, it'll be big. Oh, it feels like another striper. He's swimming right at me. There he goes. Oh, show bass. Show bass. Come to me. Come to me. <laughs> no, it's a large Woo! Dude, I am just misclassifying fish left and right. What is he doing? He's not done. Yes, sir. As I was reeling it in, I, I classified it first as a striper, then a hybrid, then a uh, largemouth, then a shoal bass. It's a spotted bass. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, but it has such a unique red color. It's a beautiful fish, man. <laughs> you good? I'm so good. <laughs> oh, no! I was looking at you, bro! Are you kidding me? He freaking cranked it! <laughs> oh my gosh! What am I doing? You're gonna catch him too. This is so sweet. <laughs> that cam. Let's go, baby. 
show bass, man. That's why I love it. <laughs> Devin's just hanging off the side of the boat right now. So we were doing biggest fish. So my biggest, approximately, because I didn't bring the scale with me, it was still on the boat, was like one and three quarters, maybe a two pounder shoal bass. Devin weighed that two six. And then what was yours? I didn't catch a big shoal bass. My biggest was like literally two ounces. What was your biggest fish though? Because it wasn't species oriented. Maybe four. I, I, it was over three and a half for sure. Striper. Striper. Okay, so that means that you won the gas station challenge, man. Oh, Congratulations. Dude, I thought I wasn't going to catch go. a fish here. Hey. I was so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Epic day. I caught my PB shoal bass. Devin caught his PB shoal bass, both on top water. Ayo caught the biggest fish. Yeah, we got to get out of here. It'll be unsafe in about five, 10 minutes. Subscribe to uh, Ayo for putting us on him. Thank It'll you. It'll be linked down below. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Dev. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. See you guys. Peace. Love you. Yeah. <laughs>